I always think of uh, Debbie Harry as Blondie. <laughs> Lana Morris from The Alchemistics and Ballads and Softcore Porn, who I can't wait to see in a show with Rod Cummings and the Vibe. <laughs> Dan Thomas, who is in way too many bands to mention, but the Mary Jane Jones, uh, let's see, Smack My Bishop, Soul Tree, and more. Steve, Steve Yarborough from Smack My Bishop and Lunar Carnival, uh, and Kat Rapacki from the Mary Jane Jones, and Fat Bradley. Steve Yarbrough's in the Mary Jane Jones, too, which okay. I tell you about. Yeah, she's, uh, how am I going to keep all this straight? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are like Cute. one giant, like, multi-layered lasagna of local heroes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's exactly the point, because tomorrow, and I mentioned that I'm going to air this tomorrow on my show, so I'll keep saying the show tomorrow. Yeah. At the Shea Theater in Turner's, Llama Lasagna, number, let's see what it is, I knew it was on this before, 32, this is 32 incarnations mm -hmm. of this it's like Voltron. <laughs> it's not even bigger than Voltron. Where all the parts come together and create this massive, giant monster. Um, and the theme this year is monstrous, too. It's Night of the Living Dead, Llama Lasagna, at the Shea, starting at 9 o'clock uh, tomorrow night. Uh, James Todd, a.k.a. Rod Cummings, tell me the origin story of what Llama Lasagna is and how it came about. Well, um, back when Jay Metcalf was... In the uh, in the Alchemistics, he was a founding member. Uh, they were supposed to play at the Harp one night, and um, and something happened. I can't remember the details, but they had to, the band had to cancel, and Jay could still do it. So he promised Harpo <clears throat> that that he would have still have music, that he would still have music. So he called up a whole bunch of his talented musician friends, just from whatever, and they made up a list of of, of songs to play. And um, and they were like, man, what are we gonna call this? What are we gonna call this band? And they 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 were eating dinner at Jay's house, and he had made lasagna for them. Oh, it's a it's a llama lasagna thing. I don't know why llama, but you know, just like because it's a goofy animal, and they, you know, and they, they knew the show was gonna be goofy, you know. And then and and at the time, we uh, we hadn't thought of of uh, doing themes yet, um, so it was just like. All the songs you ever wanted to play with your band, but like your band wouldn't let you play, you know, and like, and like so, so. Rod um, Cummings and the Vibrators won't let you play something. <laughs> <laughs> well, Rod Cummings and the Vibrators is a spinoff of Llama Lasagna, so, so that came out of the Mustache Show. Another person who's in the studio who is not in a band, but it goes to all the shows, is Kelly Drew, who is a professional fan slash band aid. Kelly Drew, what is your experience of of Llama Lasagna? as a fan? Well, I first got introduced to it uh, through a mutual friend two years ago, and she had apparently met James through Tinder, and he was literally not even looking for girls to pick up, he was looking for musicians. <laughs> <So> <laughs> I didn't know Tinder had that yet. <laughs> so uh, she invited me to this thing a few weeks before it happened, and she's like, oh yeah, it's this thing called Llama Lasagna, and I'm going to be singing a couple songs, and it's all about women, because the theme was Ladies' Night. And I showed up, I didn't know what to, what to expect, everyone was in drag, there was a g gigantic um, organ um, <laughs> to, to get into the uh, the ballroom. It was a, it <laughs> I'll was, just let you... Uh, it was a yonic arch. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was a very, very much discussed um, yonic arch. It was a way. controversy. <laughs> it was delightful. So I just show up and I see a bunch of people I knew by face since I had gone to see their band all dressed up as women with all the accoutrement, and then they launched into Ladies' Night by the Bee Gees, and I was like, oh my god, this is my, these are my people. This cool is my kind of, cool oh sorry, <laughs> my bad, edit that out. <laughs> but from then on, I just, I had to have more, and yeah, now I've just become their biggest fan and happy to promote them in any way possible. And so Llama Lasagna, kind of, it, it's a mission-driven organization of sorts. I don't know if Carla uh, from Honey Pop Productions and The Buzz is the best one to talk to you about this, but you sort of pick uh, a, a cause and a theme to kind of support at, at every show. I don't usually pick the theme or the cause, but I help direct, like, maybe ideas uh -huh. for what we should, you know, Help out this year. It's going to be helping out the Shea, which is a great nonprofit that we all know of. I've heard of it. Yeah. <laughs> Shea Theater up at Turner's Falls. Plug. <laughs> <laughs> and it's happening at the Shea uh, tomorrow night, nine o'clock. <coughs> Llama Lasagna, Night of the Living Dead. Okay, so now I want you to all say your real name, 
but who you will be performing as, because this is a tribute to artists who have died. You can now, sadly, add Fats Domino to that list. Mm. Oh. oh. Mm -hmm. Too late, maybe to get a Fats Domino act together. But maybe not. <laughs> Let's run down who your your real name and who you're going to be. My name is Carla Racine, and I will be Nico, and also Death's Angel. Ah. <laughs> I'm Kelly D. I'm going to be Wendy O. Williams from the Plasmatics. Okay. I'm Dan Thomas. I'm going to be some incarnation of David Bowie. Mm -hmm. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> That's who I'm going to be for Halloween, by the way. <laughs> My name is Anders Warnsby, I'm going to be Jonathan Lennon. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a middle name? <laughs> Vladimir. Yeah, Vladimir Lennon. My name is Steve Yarbrough, and I will be going uh, as uh, Johann Sebastian Bach. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Love it. My name is Kat Rapaki, the Valley's okayest trombone player. <laughs> I will be Janis Joplin. <laughs> I'm James Todd. Hanover, and um, I'm going to be the Grim Reaper. Ooh. So, Keith Richards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> no, but he, that's why he's the Grim Reaper. He brings all the other rock stars. <laughs> I can't believe that guy died before Keith Richards. <laughs> My name is Ilana Morris, and I will be going as Prince. Yeah. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. My name is Mandy Patius, and I haven't decided, but it will be either Nina Simone or Sharon Jones. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Excellent choices. And it's perfect because, you know, we're coming up on Halloween. What is it, the ex and anybody feel free to chime in to answer this one. Um, we often get in our little silos, no matter what sort of our job or our hobbies are, um, and we can't see the forest for the trees sometimes. We're in our own band, we go to our own rehearsals, we go to our own shows, and we don't get to see, unless we're Kelly D, all the shows that happen uh, in the valley. So what is it like when like the mashup comes together when the lasagna gets made. Oh, it's madness. <laughs> we just had our dress rehearsal this Sunday and uh, it's basically a five hour potluck with about 40 musicians running around the house um, trying to rehearse an entire show of uh, almost 30 tunes. Uh -huh. It's madness, but there is some organization. <laughs> <laughs> it's an organized madness. Imagine trying to herd cats who all play different instruments and are excited to see each other. Or llamas. Then it would be even harder. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you know, um, but it's really, uh, it's really become kind of a community of musicians over the years, where um, we're, we're all very, we're all very close and. Rod Cummings and the Vibrators isn't the only spin-off band to come out of Lama Lasagna. A whole bunch of other things have, have spawned from it, um, and um, and we we feel really close to each other and, and, and support each other. Since Lama has has um, sprung forth, uh, there's been a lot more uh, cooperation between bands and uh, guest appearances between bands and stuff. You know, so so I think it's a it's a, it's a really great. For, yeah, for musical it really unity. serves to to, to kind of unite everybody and get them out of their boxes because, like you said, we spend all this time working on our own projects. Yeah, and um, you know it's really cool to take all these bands and then shuffle the members up, and you have the guitar player from one band playing with a bass player from another band and a singer from another band, and that's just one song, and then it all changes for the next song, and this happens all night long. So you get to see a lot of combinations that you just wouldn't see. It's nice too because it's not only musicians, it's a lot of artists and we have a lot of people, dancers and uh, acrobats and stuff that really come together, sometimes puppeteers, um, and it's really like a big community theater experiment as well as a uh, conglomerative act of bands from the valley. Um, so it really yeah, ends up being like a really cool play and has different elements. I can give you a little uh, insight and dose. There's 175 members in Llama, 174 members. That yeah, yeah, in the Llama members Facebook group. Yes, yeah. 170 <laughs> some odd members in this group. And um, the art director, Emmeline Hicks, who's not here, she's at school somewhere teaching young, wonderful children. She puts together this amazing um, physical art experience where you go in and you really not only do you see the costumes but you see these props everywhere and it becomes this like whole interactive theater experience and there's going to be a photo booth this year we've had it for the last couple with these great awesome coffins i'm going to tease that up <laughs> there um and as Anders was saying there's acrobats there's pole dancers 
it's going to be a really wild production and you know you can really you can go there and fall in love that's what i think about llama you go there and you really you get turned on to something exciting and a really great community experience and i hear tell that there is a theatrical surprise post intermission that you'll have to come and see for yourself yes <laughs> <laughs> Great sound bite, Anders. <laughs> Dead. It is tomorrow night, 9 p.m. at the Shea Theater in Turner's. Thank you all so much for coming in. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. See you there. <laughs> all right, now do we want to do the? Um, yeah, we're.